life may be. I like it quiet. Leave me be. What business have you here, traveler? You may call me Vengal, if I deserve a name in this sorry state. It is rare to flap these gums. This is pleasant. Long ago, I was hired to defend the kingdom. I remember a long, brutal fight, and then... somebody killed me. Or so I thought. I came to, and found myself like this. I don't know what explains it, but it's not so bad, really. And now, I watch the days go by, and gaze at the night sky, thinking of the finer things, far removed from war. I'd grown weary of battle, but did not realize it until now. I know not what brings you on this journey, nor will I deign to ask. You may bear a great burden, don't we all? I prefer to stay my distance. But I want to warn you of something. My body. I see visions. My body, headless, raging without me. My body, wielding my sword, a sword forged only to kill. My body will show no mercy. If you see the wretched thing, stay far away. I learn new things every day. Things never learned in battle. And thanks to you, I've recalled the joy of conversation. If I can help you, if you require something, do speak up. I cannot lie. Sometimes I wonder what's become of the kingdom. I was a hired hand, yes. But we soldiers stared death in the eye together. And for his highness, I'm afraid. But perhaps it's for the best. We knew not what we fought for. I was born in Ferosa, to land in the distant east. When I was born, we were already mired in prolonged conflict with our neighbors. Eventually, our kingdom fell, and our people scattered. I've been a cell sword ever since. All I ever knew was war, and I can imagine no other way to live. What a fool I was. I am grateful for these peaceful days. But such contentment lies only in the here and now. Why must life be so confounding? Thank you for lending an ear to my ramblings. Here, take these. I have no use for them. Go along and resume your journey. <laughs> 